shout out to the man, the myth, the legend, Rice. Because he has managed to get enough for Gojo Evo. And today, we're going to check out what he can do. So make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, turn the games on, all that stuff, guys. Take a look at Gojo right there. So there's Gojo, 1,800 damage for 5.6 seconds with 25.8 range. He's got A, B, and Z+. Plus. Now, I'm going to ask him real quick if he wants to transfer any traits and other units in. Because honestly, that's what you should be doing before you, like, do these tier units. All right, all right. Also, when you're doing your stat transfers, it goes like this. The unit that you're sacrificing their stats, which is these right here, goes on the left. And the units you're going to keep are on the right. So let's do this. 20,000. And boom. So Gojo now, if we take a look at Gojo, he should have the SSPA, which he does. And then he also has the A damage. So that is what we did. Now what we could do is uh we could do some trade rerolls he says he got 50 rolls that we could do uh did he mean that i gotta buy the rolls huh that, that is exactly what he meant he meant to buy the rolls so go to the store get 50 trade rerolls i mean it hasn't been a good night for me when it comes to trade rerolling but hopefully this time everything will change 50 rolls gojo marksman this monarch tree has been evading us all night and today this is this is this finally it this is the last unit we can technically evo right now it is this gojo unit if we get monarch on him that'll be absurd we've gotten marksman back again it's not looking amazing fortune oh swift Did the game just lag blitz and range it's not going too well tonight guys it's just if we get monarch on him it'll be absurd but i did get ethereal on my own gojo which was pretty amazing but it did take a ton of rerolls so definitely uh i don't know how i feel about it just quite yet we'll find out once we evo this gojo unit but a few more rolls 20 rolls left blitz isn't bad i got blitz twice in a row that i didn't get monarch that's crazy just gonna finish it strong again with the blitz wow okay oh my gosh I guess, I guess we're going to keep this. Uh, alrighty, anyways, um, Solar Gojo, so these are his stats, uneven, 2,000 damage every 5.2 seconds at 23.8 range, and then now, we go over here, you're probably wondering, Toad, how do you Evo him? You got to go over here to this new Cursed Shop guy, which is uh, on the left right here, where the like the Igris raid was, and you gotta buy two six eyes from Gojo. So there's one, and there's two. There's the two six eyes that you need to Evo him. Take a look at that, boom. The way to get those fingers is from over here. You gotta complete the story node. And once you complete the story node, right here should be a station. You gotta do infinites. And there's a chance that Sukuna will spawn as one of the bosses. Once Sukuna spawns, you get uh, his fingers and you get one for every Sukuna kill, and it's really based off chance, and it's honestly kind of difficult to get, but it doesn't matter. We've got it, so let's go to the Evo. You're gonna notice that Gojo's actually extremely expensive to Evo. So 50 or 40 purples, normal, but then it's 30 blues and 30 reds, and then the two six eyes, but Gojo turns into a secret unit with a huge forehead, Gojo Infinity. Let's go. Oh, we got God Range and Z Attack and SPA. Yo, okay, wait, 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 wait. What did we just get? That's actually kind of crazy. We go to the stat reroll, go over here, talk to her. Let's see what his new stats are like. Gojo 20.9, 9.7, and 12.3 range. Let's take a look at the new Gojo unit. So he has a cosmetic. Uh, I guess I gotta unequip this one. So unequip this cosmetic, equip the Gojo cosmetic. Yo! That's cool. Imagine shiny. All right, well that's pretty cool. You get the Gojo eyes as well, let's equip them. 2700 damage every 5.1 seconds with 24.2 range. Pretty good. Let's go ahead and check out what this unit can do on an infinite run though. Let's see uh, areas. Let's go out of play and then I think 
I don't know, I kind of want to go on like a light map like Sand Village and do his infinite there. So let's see what this new Gojo Evo can do for us. This cosmetic is crazy. There's so much light being emitted from me right now. It, it It's really cool and then it works really well. I think it would work really, really good with like my unit. You get the pose as well for Gojo, which looks nice. Gojo is 1800 to place on placement. That's quite a lot, and this wave isn't ending. Okay, there's Gojo on placement. I want to upgrade this guy before the wave ends. Boom. Uh, he is doing 3,600 damage every 4.6 seconds. What? I'll place Alucard right there. He can kind of just destroy everything. But it seems like Gojo has, like, a new upgrade to his facet, which we'll find out what it does here in just a moment. I'm going to go ahead and max out my farm so we can make enough money. I also got to go to the settings, and I got to show... Let's see. Visual effects on uh damage indicators off and then depth of field we can turn that back on as well let's see what the gojo attack is looking yo gojo looks crazy oh ho, ho. wait that looks cool that looks cool the big blue orb just comes out of nowhere and it like destroys the unit all right 30 something hundred damage is pretty insane let's max out our farms we'll be back once we can upgrade gojo and see if he is the best unit in this update but uh yeah time lapse go We're almost done with our money here. Let's take a look at the Gojo's passive first. So damage plus 20% and minus 10% SP8, limitless. Immune to status ailments, damage plus 2% with each attack received. And I think that's limitless. Like literally as it says, it's limitless. So that means Gojo will keep gaining 2% damage until the end of time, which is honestly absurd if you think about it, because you take them on an infant run, for example, like Double Dungeon, where the boss is stunning you every couple waves, that makes him an absurd unit. 2,500 for the first upgrade, that's into 4882 damage. Um, you kind of see the 1.2 times buff, the SPA buff over there, and the ranged buff, which is interesting. 3,400 will be the next upgrade, but I think I want to max out the... I think I want to max out the farm first. So the farm's got one final upgrade. I This map is honestly like one of the worst maps to do an infinite run on. Just because of these puppets, you have to like destroy the shields and then you have to destroy the unit or else it regens. It just, it's, it's, it's very difficult. Just you guys know if you're not paying attention, but we got our money. Let's see, 3,400 for the next upgrade. After that, we get red. So red is a line attack and it looks like it's single hit. So or is it reversal blue or reversal red? I don't remember, but there is red. Alrighty, so we got blue, we got red. Obviously, blue plus red is gonna make our purple, but he's up to 8,500 damage every 4.2 seconds with 33 range. Next upgrade is 7,400 though, so it is a little bit expensive. It starts getting quite a bit expensive actually on the early upgrades. Boom, and then he gets purple. So from there on, it's purple, which is an even bigger Oh my gosh, it's an even bigger, wider cone. 41 range. And then after that, upgrade eight, he gets this requirement for upgrade eight, which I'm excited to see. But a five second SPA, he is currently a three placement unit. So kind of expected him to be what he's been so far. I'm really curious to see what this next upgrade is gonna do for him though. So hollow purple, let's take a look at the attack just really quickly here. He gets red, he gets blue, they combine, and they turn into hollow purple. Probably one of the best hollow purples I've seen animated before. But here is the next ability, Void 12,000, uh, Void. Upon activation, Gojo gains plus 50% damage and all enemies in range are frozen for 10 seconds. Every kill while Void is active lowers SPA by 2% down to minus 10% and it's actually just for uh, a minute so it's a minute cooldown it stuns people near him we get the infinite void which is crazy and his damage is up to 26 thousand and here's max triple but oh my god oh my god gojo becomes a nuke unit 44 thousand damage every 9.6 seconds with 55 range 
Yeah, hands down, this is the number one unit in the update, guys. Oh my god! And it looks so cool! 10 second SPA is kinda crazy, but look at this. He goes red, blue, and it turns into purple, and he becomes the honored one. Wow, if you guys... You guys have not already started grinding for Gojo, I suggest you do though because he is crazy crazy good. Oh my, look at him and he looks so cool. That 10 second SBA doesn't even feel like 10 seconds to be honest with you. Wow. Anyways guys, that's it for this unit. Let me know what you think of Gojo. For now, I gotta go. I gotta go grind for my own Gojo. Unique Monarch on this unit would be crazy. So let me know if you guys get him. I hope you do. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Reese's Deces, bye.